Hey guys, today is uh, Wednesday, December the 14th. I wanted to do an educational video in regards to cycles, something about back testing, something that I've uh, observed doing these uh, cycles and I just wanted to share with you. These are the things that you need to uh, come across. And if you haven't, these are the kind of things you need to think about when you're doing research. <clears throat> so without any further delay, let's get into it. So this is a chart of Cameco CCJ. And I want to take you, this is all in hindsight. This is, you know, research mode. This is education. So I want to show you some things, you know, observations I've uh, noticed. First off, we know in hindsight, you know, Chemical did a swing low on uh, March the 18th of 2020. Now, let's make pretend we don't know any of this price action was happening. We don't know anything. We only know is that there's a swing low on March the 18th of 2020. So this is a weekly chart. We're taking all the data and we want to see if even from this swing low, which we know in hindsight, can we forecast this swing high? Would the cycles give us, give us an edge or let us know that from here, there's going to be a possible turning point somewhere coming around April of 2022. There's a couple of cycles that are important uh, just from this uh, uh, sample. This is out of sample, so this is inside sample, so we don't know anything on this side. That's why it's a different color. Uh, there's a cycle of 373, and you can see that it peaks here. And now obviously you see that it's uh, inverted. Prices are going down, So, and you can see that prices were never going up. They were just kind of going sideways here while the cycles peak. And then the next one is the uh, 227. Cycles are going down, and in hindsight, we know that the cycles were the price action was going up. So you see that it was kind of really backwards. Let's uh, <clears throat> uh, so you could tell right away that even getting the swing low, we could never tell uh, the forecast that this cycle high was going to be coming uh, in place. Let's uh, let's go one year ahead and see how it you know works out. Uh, March 18 of 2021. So we got data all the way from here. Okay, so let's say, you know, within a year, wow, we got a low. We're making higher highs and higher lows. Will the cycles give us an edge and tell us where this thing is going to possibly end in the future? Uh, we do some uh, spectrum analysis, and it tells us there's a, a cycle of 395, kind of maybe like the one I just mentioned, and it peaks somewhere, uh, let's see, it peaks somewhere around june of july of 2021 and we all know that you know it pulled back but it kept going higher so this one didn't work out 245th cycle peaked somewhere around september 2020 and looks like right here we just started going up so that didn't work out either let's go uh one more year let's go somewhere around uh march 7 of 2022 very close to the top Let's refresh that. So we have data all the way right here, right before the peak on April the 13th. Now let's see if what the cycles are saying. I want you to see if you notice something. Uh, now the strongest cycle is the 267. It hits a peak somewhere around December of 2021. First week, that's somewhere around here. And then you see we get this nice massive so in high sight, you probably would have think like, all right, this is gonna be the top. You can see price action you know, coming down right here in this cycle peaking. He was like, yep, it's coming. This is the, this is the top. And then all of a sudden you get this pop while the cycle is going down. And this is a pattern that I've, I've, you know, I've seen a lot. And, uh, it's something you just, you know, pattern recognition, you just kind of see it and you'd be like, oh yeah, this, could, this is a potential probability also. Uh, and then there's the uh, 195. It, it peaks around October kind of pretty much lining up with this uh november 8th or it was fourth high and then price is going down and then you'd be like okay yep this is the peak this is a uh, cycle high uh we're gonna go down and look at that head fake and goes up let's uh let's let's even let's take the high let's see what happens let's take the high here and refresh that and now we're brand new here and let's see what the spectrum analyzer says there's a cycle of 269 and that one uh peaks somewhere on january of 2022 and there's this high that we've made the next cycle is the 196 
and that one peaked somewhere around November, which was this somewhere around here, and now uh, uh, Cameco kept going up, and the cycles are down. Now, let's just let's just take all of it. Let's reset this and have all the data up to today, and see what the cycles are saying. With regards to the weekly. The strongest cycle right now, current, is the 274, and it peaked somewhere around, you could say, May, June. Actually, yeah, you could say May, June. It peaked, and we had this high here. The next one is the 203, and that one peaked around somewhere around March, the 28th, like the last week of March. So... What are my observations by just doing this and showing you this? Is that by you even nailing the low using these uh, spectrum cycles, uh, it's hard to forecast, you know, with the uh, projection uh, turning points of the cycle that is going to be a possible swing high. From what I see and observe, as prices continue going higher or, or sideways or whatever, wherever direction is going, these cycles are adjusting and moving, you know, and uh, like adjusting pretty much and shifting um, in time to where it gets to a point where it kind of like nails it, like this last one, like where we're at right now. We have this one. Uh, this is a composite, but the uh, 274, you remember it was like 269. It kept like shifting and now it's here. And now things have changed. If you noticed, we made a high, we pull back. We try to make another high to push higher, but that failed. So you might, you have a fail new high. Now we're like, kind of not even retesting that anymore. Just kind of like going sideways, but not going lower. Kind of holding the 20. Things have changed here. Something's different about this price action so you know i know there's a lot to do with the economy and the uh the uh the situation we are living in right now currently but you know these are the things the nuances you pick up and you learn and you like okay i see i see what's going on here and you just kind of store this in the back of your mind and recognize these patterns you know uh and then see you know how this is going to play out uh, is camera go now going to push and make another higher high while these cycle and it's just going to keep shifting you know that remains to be seen but uh these are the things that you uh you know i recommend you back test and kind of see you know your tools that you use and just back test and see okay you know uh we made a low here we know that could this tool forecast into the future really good and let me know that this is you know a uh, possible swing high and for that, from what i'm seeing as you shift with price action into the future, it's it's shifting and until it gets to a point where I think it, it locks in that or, or locks in the probability of a possible swing high. And then I think the evidence will be is that the uh, price action has changed. You know, it's doing something different. It's not doing this pattern anymore. Uh, so these are my observations from cycles. And this is just the weekly. I guess I'll probably do another video on daily and just see, you know, from, you know, back testing it from this uh, March all the way to the uh, April 13th. Let's see what the daily would have done. But I would have guessed, you know, the uh, weekly would have been better because uh, it's a bigger time frame. But you seeing it in real time, how, you know, these uh, spectrum cycles are adjusting and shifting as price action continues, you know, going forward in time. Hopefully you like this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts. This is more, more likely like an educational video on cycles. It is something for you to ponder and think about uh, if you do this kind of stuff or, or if you're, uh, you know, questioning uh, cycles and stuff like that. These are the observations I've had, what I call anomalies that I pick up when I do some research.